Thank you, sir, for allowing me to participate in the motion moved by Sri Adan Mila Basayumait, MLA of Nongkrem, for this house to now discuss the manics of drugs and substance abuse in the state. <clears throat> so I just would uh, like to mention some point which we have seen in our state, especially in the urban area, which now we reach out to the rural area also of uh, youths. They are taking drugs. So it's a high time for the government of the day to take seriously about how to eradicate this menace of drugs. So, in Shlong locality, I don't want to name some of the locality, which even the small boy, a school boy, they have started taking drugs. And the saddest part is, after taking drugs of the age of, start taking drugs of the age of 14, 15 years, the worst part is, subsequently, they start selling of drugs also. Which, it's very important for the government of the day, especially the Home Department, the Police Department, to take this serious notes. How to get or to arrest the kingpin of this very, very dangerous scene to see in our society, in our state. So, I just want to make some suggestion here. Some of the drugs peddlers, drugs user, we have seen they have been arrested from time to time. But the sad thing is, after two, three months, they got bail and start the same thing again by doing drugs and selling drugs, which I think now it's a high time for the government of the day to see what is the best way to frame some kind of, you know, maybe can we have a special force, not only from the social welfare department, not from the health department, but from the police department. Because for the example, sir, when we see the POXO case, once you arrest in POXO case, sir, there are two special code which can expedite the case and charge the culprit. But here in the consuming of drugs or whatever, uh, heroin, powder, the thing is, it's very long, you know, it's, it took a lot of time to charge each the culprit, which they've been, have arrested, arrested in the sense with red-handed with cash, with drugs, but after three months, they was released on bail. The thing is which before 180 days, I think the NDPS Act is there, 1985, you have to charge it within this 180 days. 
I think the minister concerned can look into that. If you cannot charge it within 180 days, the hand of the court also it's tied, and the culprit automatically he will be released. So that's why, sir, as a legislator, I'm very concerned of this. I used to raise this issue when any program of the youth, because we used to say, we used to uh, shout no? from time to time, say no to drugs, say no to drugs. But we don't know why this menace of drugs, especially in our state, it's become worse, from bad to worse. So I request the government of the days, and we will work hand in hand how to eradicate this. Otherwise, it will be a bad shape, a bad face of a state, and beloved state. I feel for the youth, I feel for the poor family, which I've met, I've seen, because not only the rich family they are taking drugs, now the poor families also. The poor boys from the poor family they are start taking drugs. From where it came, we don't know. At the same time, sir, this is a last, before conclude, this is a last uh, submission and request. I think it's a high time also for our government. After arresting of drug, says by the police, they have shown that this much of quantity has been arrested with the amount of that much, of this much, and the sales of the drugs is cost this much, a lot of money. I just want to get the clarification from the government also. Where is this drugs and why not burn down this drugs? Along with us, call all the legislator, call the people, call the youth. At least it will be good, it will be better, and we will, you know, get some, you know, uh, kind of a thing from the people. Can believe that, yes, we are doing something. So, sir, I don't have to say much regarding this, but. I'm very concerned as a digital member of this August House. That's why I rise to participate of this motion. And I hope that the government also they will do something for this issue. With these few words, sir. Thank you.